I'm so excited. I, I, I got to watch it because uh, I, I, I want to try to shake it down tonight. I, I don't want to talk too much, but my physician, Dr. Jesus, he told me because of my condition, he said, you better, you better go on bed rest. But I'm glad to be back here tonight. I was listening to you each night. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and, and I almost, I was tempted to come on Wednesday night when the prayer war forgot to lead the prayer. I, I, I started to come on, but I thank God that we came on through it. I thank God for you all being on the fellowship of pastors by sponsor uh, by Bishop Jameson, Bishop Minnie Crawford, Bishop Harry Hager Sr., Bishop Frank Matthew, and trial Bishop Queenie Fowler, and the super gifted operator of the conference line, mm. Dr. Derek Devon Vaughn Burns Griffin, because of my sudden physical condition, I thank God that I'm on tonight. But tonight, since we are on the black, the 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 hour, since we are online, I'm so glad I will not waste any time. So let's get started. We're gonna begin with our call of which according to 100 division of Psalms. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye land, serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with sing. Thank you, Lord. It is good for us to be here. The moderator tonight will be yours truly. Now, don't y'all push me tonight. <coughs> I would, uh, tonight, our teacher lives in Denver, Colorado. He's one of Rochester's members. Our prayer warrior will, will be presiding Ella. Ella Blue will be a uh, chain, will be presiding Ella Elaine Blue. So at this time, I'm going to turn it into her hands that she can go for. It. At this time, General Ella Elaine Blue. Amen. Yeah. giving honor to our chief overseer and to each and every one of you in your prospective places. We thank the Lord God for being here on tonight. We just want to say, um, oh, we have do ever elder, the residing elder Mary Hawkins, is she on? Hello, elder Mary Hawkins. Okay, then if not, I'll proceed on. Uh, we just thank God for being here. We thank God for our bishop being online. We thank God for all of you God's children on tonight. We're looking to have another glorious time in the Lord. And we're going to ask that you gather up your minds and your thoughts and just go with me into prayer. Let us gather our minds and come before the Lord in a word of prayer on tonight. Oh, holy and everlasting God. It's once more and again, we your people that are called by your name. We have humbled ourselves. We are seeking your face. We have turned 
from our wicked ways. Lord God, you said then you would hear from heaven and you would forgive our sins and you would heal the land. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, as we petition you tonight, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your mercy that endureth forever. We thank you, Lord God. You said you would remember us in our lowest state because your mercy endureth forever. Lord God, we ask in the name of Jesus, um, as you look on us, we've come from everywhere. Um, Lord God, but we need a word from you on tonight. Um, we need to hear from you tonight. Um, Lord God, we want you to bless the speaker, um, our teacher on tonight. Um, Lord, let him have a word for your people. Um, Lord, in the name of Jesus, um, we want you to remember all of the saints everywhere, um, those that are sick, those that are going through. Huh? Lord, in the name of Jesus, huh? your word said you sent your word and your word healed them. Huh? Somebody is in need of healing on tonight. Huh? Somebody is in need of deliverance on tonight. Huh? Lord, in the name of Jesus, huh? we need you. Huh? We need you like we never needed you before. Huh? We need your mercy. Huh? We need the kindness that you extend. Huh? We need Need that loving kindness, huh? Lord God, in the name of Jesus, huh? go before us, huh? lead us, Lord God, huh? in the name of Jesus, we thank you, huh? we thank you for mercy, huh? we thank you for your kindness, huh? we thank you for looking beyond all of our faults, huh? and you saw our needs, huh? Lord, in the name of Jesus, huh? remember all the officials tonight, huh? Lord, look on all your members tonight, huh? look Look on all your children tonight. Huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? we need a blessing. Huh? We're waiting on a blessing. Huh? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you on tonight. Amen. 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 First, given our um, one moment, uh, Dr. Griffith, if you're listening, I'm gonna need you to enable me to share my screen, please. This is Reverend Gill. Thank you. First, Give me an honor to our chief overseer, the Bishop Clary K. Butler, senior, B senior bishop and senior moderator of this great house of God church, Keith Dominion. Give me an honor to my presiding state bishop, the Bishop Harry H. Haygood. Um, I'm asking you to pray for me. I would ask you to pray for me and pray with me, but since I can't to, to, do two things at once, I'm gonna ask you to pray for me that God will lead this message. Um, I'm sharing my screen and I'm sharing my screen. I put this, this message together. The bishop, my bishop assigned me um, some weeks ago to this lesson. And I asked the Lord to, to lead and guide me. I wanted this to be about his word and not about me and or my thoughts. And as I put this together, I, I, I try to present in such a way that it would make sense, but that God's will would be done. And I put this together because I'm a visual learner myself. And because I learn visually, I'm hoping that this will benefit others as they see this presentation that God has put together. So this lesson tonight, April 8th, 2022, 40 days fast, lesson 38, why the resurrection of Jesus Christ was so important. But let's take a step back before we continue on. The question in our lesson has a backstory. The story is about a crime against an innocent man. The crime you ask, murder. Now, not only was, is this a crime about murder, but this crime was prophesied some time ago by Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 10. And I'm gonna just read a portion of this. They will look on him 
whom they have pierced and mourn for him as for an only son. This lesson will provide biblical proof regarding the following. The who, the what, the when, where, why, and how. Who you say? Who is the victim? Jesus Christ, the Son of God, accused by his own. Jesus' purpose according to, to Scripture. John chapter 10, verses 9 through 11. I'm going to just read a partial of these scriptures for your consideration. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Part of verse 11 says, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Now, what happened here? Luke chapter 23, verse 2 tells us, just for your consideration, a brief portion, Jesus was accused. What was he accused of? He was accused of perverting the nation, forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ a king. Now, if you want to know the whole story, you can read the full transcript in Luke chapter 23. When did this happen? According to historians, this was happened approximately April 3rd, AD, year 33. How did this happen, you say? Jesus was crucified. According to Mark chapter 16, verse 6, and he said unto them, Be not afraid, you seek, it, you seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. Now, there are other scriptures and information on these slides for your consideration, but I'm going to move on. Where did this happen? I didn't know this song. It says, Jesus King. Come on. He did the Near the cross, that's where it happened, near the cross. The murder begins near the cross. According to John 18 and 28, states that early in the morning, Jesus was led from Cyphus to Pontius Pilate in the Praetorium. Jesus is steered to the cross located on Golgotha, Calvary Hill. Jesus is hung on the cross. According to Luke chapter 23 and 34, even hanging on a cross, he asked, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Yet while on the cross, Jesus suffering for our sin and pain ravaged through his body, he yet took the time to reach out to another, to convert a lost soul, to be with him in paradise. Why did this happen? The first aspect of this why is, why is it murder? God gave Moses the law, thou shalt not kill. In Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Moses writes, thou shalt not kill. Moses then rewrites that same commandment in Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 17. What I found interesting in a note about this particular uh, book of Moses is that Moses was writing this as though it was a farewell to the children of Israel as they left his presence to go into the land of Canaan that was promised to them because Moses was not allowed because of a sin he had committed. Why continue? Because of sin. That is the second why. Genesis chapter 3 lets us know about the original sin. Adam and Eve in the garden was instructed by God not to eat of a certain tree. But yet they disobeyed God and ate anyway. Chapter verse 3 says, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Now, we know the story. 
We know the history. But somewhere down the line, David, in his infinite wisdom, in pleading out, writes this psalm. And for your consideration, Psalm 51, chapter 5. I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. That further confirms that we are all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. But there's more. The ultimate reason why he had to hang and die on the cross, and he was a victim of this gruesome murder, was to redeem man back to God. I believe Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5, sums it up best when he describes, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. to the lesson, the question, why the resurrection of Jesus was so important. Jesus, the resurrection. Our lesson text comes from John chapter 11, verse 25 and 26. For your consideration, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth, and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Jesus at this time is consoling the sister of Lazarus who had died. And the sister was so distraught that she believed that had Jesus been there, this would not have happened. Jesus begins to instruct her and to teach her, I am the resurrection. She does not understand. She understands that Lazarus is going to rise again during the resurrection, but Jesus is trying to teach her he is the resurrection. Therefore, he has the power to command life. Thus, he raises Lazarus from the grave. The first scripture in our lesson, promise of his return. John chapter 14, verse two, three. For your consideration, I'm going to read a portion of this scripture. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again. Jesus promised of a place for the righteous in heaven and to return for the gathering of the righteous dead and alive. Now, at this time, Jesus promises to prepare something for us. And early in the scripture, he writes, let not your heart be troubled. Jesus is consoling. He's letting us know, don't worry, be happy. The last enemy. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 26 through 27. For your consideration, I'll read a portion. The last enemy shall be destroyed is death. Because the soul of man will be recalled by the original manufacturer, God, death will no longer be needed, and this will lead to it being destroyed. The countdown timer on death is just about up. We shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 50 through 52. For your consideration again, partial reading of the scripture, we shall all be changed. The righteous living and asleep will be transformed quickly without any perceptible passage of time. Paul is letting us know that the change will come so suddenly, it will happen so quickly we will not even notice that it had happened. Righteous resurrected. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Matthew chapter 22, verses 31 through 32. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have ye not read that which was spoken unto you by God? saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. 
God is not the God of the that God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Jesus referring to the resurrection of the righteous dead. They are still alive as disembodied souls, and the soul will eventually be resurrected and relocated with God. Once a person hears the offer of eternal life, they should accept it. There is no greater gift. Acts chapter 2, verses 37 to 38, cause and effect. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their hearts, said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Because Jesus was resurrected, the word of God can cause a permanent change in the hearts of man. Now, a particular note in this scripture, bear with me. The word of God, when properly received, will cause a change in man. The question you may ask, what shall I do next? Repent now. The promise of eternal life is for everyone that believes in Jesus. Acts chapter 2, verse 39. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Do you hear him now? God is calling with an offer. Pick up and receive your free gift of eternal life. Once you receive the Holy Ghost, you can immediately start doing his will and receiving his blessings. Acts chapter 2, verses 41 through 47. Then they, then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers, and fear came upon every soul, and many, wonder, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common, and sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they, continually, continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meats with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God, having favor with all the people. And the Lord God added to the church daily such as should be saved. Together they ate, worshiped, offered support and share. While being persecuted, they continued to serve God with joy in their hearts. I capitalized the word joy because that in writing means to say it out loud. They continue to serve God with joy in their hearts. Our bonus scripture. Will you rise again like Jesus? 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 to 7. For I deliver unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cyphus, Peter, then of the twelve. After that, he was seen of above 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto, pre unto this present. But some, are a but some are fallen asleep. After that, he was seen of James, then of the apostles. Jesus was seen by many after his resurrection, fulfilling scripture, confirming his resurrection for any doubters and the haters. You must be changed. Bonus scripture B. 1 Corinthians chapter 54, 15, chapter 15, verses 54 through 58. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortality must put on, must put on immortality. 
So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brother, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain, when my sinful nature is in, under total submission by the Holy Ghost, then my soul can live forever with God. My soul is no longer bound for eternal damnation. Victory is mine. The lesson summary for tonight. Why, the question is, the resurrection of Jesus Christ was so important. Because the promise of eternal life is for everyone that hears the offer to receive the Holy Ghost and accept, they can immediately start working his will, God, and receive his blessings. His return is guaranteed because he is not the God of the dead, but of the living, and we shall all be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye. The last enemy, death, shall be destroyed in the lake of fire. This last slide is encouragement and thank you. I have a couple of people that are there in my life that are going to help me with this encouragement and thank you. The encouragement. Always have faith in God. Siempre hay que tener fe en Dios. Next, the thank you. And for my friends that speak Spanish, thank you for your attention. Y para mis amigos que hablan español, gracias por su atención. I thank you for your time and your consideration. You're back in the hands of those in charge. We thank you, uh, Reverend Darby, for such a beautiful PowerPoint. My, 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 look where we have come. We are on the digital church giving PowerPoints on the why the resurrection of Jesus Christ is so important. He put us back in school. By answering the WH question, the who, what, where, and how. Reverend Darvin, I enjoyed your PowerPoint. I'm going to open up at this time for the other bishops to get their remarks. I said I was going to have a few words to say, but thank you for the word tonight. At this time, we're going to open up. Other bishops have you have it in. tonight. We certainly we on our overseer. Thank God for all the bishops. We thank God for another powerful lesson. Job well done. Amen. Well done. We thank God. It's 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 just an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure. I'm like the bishop. Hey, good. I'm 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 in school when I come in. I take it in. God knows I take it in, and I thank God for it. Why the resurrection is so important. If if I say if if he did not rise, hmm. our preaching is in vain. That's right. It's in That's vain. Right. He That's rolled. Right. He That's rolled. Right. He rolled, and he rolled with all. Power all of it in yes, his hand. I just want to emphasize a little bit. He, he hit it real hard about joy, joy, joy. Amen. In the 13th chapter of Acts, in the very last verse, Jesus gave them joy. He gave them joy. And then he gave them the Holy Ghost. And I want you to remember that the joy of the Lord 
is your strength. That's Amen. right. Some Amen. of us give our joy away. Uh -huh. We give it away. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is our strength. And this joy I have, the world, the world didn't give it to me. And, and the world is not going to take it away. I thank God. I praise God. I worship him because I have certainly enjoyed uh, this lesson. Not only this lesson, but uh, we thank God for the fast. Let me say this, and I'm, I'm quitting. Amen. But the late Jim Elder Tava, one of the pastors here in uh, Florida, for the Jim Elder Tava, she said, if you don't fast, you won't last. Amen. And if you don't pray, you won't stay. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Yes. We thank God tonight uh, for another wonderful lesson. Uh, Reverend Gill, uh, we really enjoyed uh, the presentation, and um, I especially like the PowerPoint so that those who might not have been able to hear well, they could really read and, and along with you and see what you were saying. And I'm sure there may be someone who would like to have a copy of what you have, uh, of your presentation tonight, and we'll make sure that they Amen. can get a copy of it. We're getting closer and closer mm -hmm. to Palm Sunday. And would you believe this is day, what, 38? Uh, yes. And, and my Lord, we have two more days. And it just seems like we started only yesterday, but um, right. this, these lessons are really powerful and it's getting us ready to go back with the Lord uh, when he comes so that we will all be resurrected. Amen. We'll get up and go back with him. As I often say, when I listen to a message, I try to listen for nuggets, something I can take away uh, from this lesson. And so I say to all tonight, let us remember uh, that Jesus, as Reverend Gill explained to us, is the resurrection. He said oh, he is. Right. And if you have Jesus in you, uh, when that first trumpet sounds, should you uh, go before he comes back, then you, you're going to get up. Amen. And be with the Lord. And I'm so glad. But in order to be with him, Reverend Gill uh, expounded upon a very important note tonight. And we're just uh, going over this. And he said, repent now. Repent if now. you know you are not where you need to be with the Lord, now is the time to repent. And I think it's in the book of Revelation when, it's, when the Bible tells us when you do wrong, repent quickly. Right. Don't wait a month or a week or a year because we don't know where death is repent now he reminded us today so we're telling you wherever you are if you're not where you need to be nobody knows that but you amen so if it's something you need to ask god, god i'm sorry for it, uh then tell him i'm sorry lord and when you repent the bible said true repentance is you don't go back and do that anymore All right so that's one of the nuggets repent now amen Another one I'm reminded, say, why is the resurrection so important? He informed us uh, that Jesus died, that all could have right to the tree oh. of life. Bishop Matthews, I think it was, if I'm correct, reminded us that if he hadn't gotten up, my mm. God from Zion, hey, <laughs> our salvation would have no value. He'd be no. just like any other dead person in the grave. Hallelujah. But when he, before he left here, he told his disciples, I'm going away. Hallelujah. I know but you're I, right. I, I'm not, I'm not going to leave you. Oh, my and Lord. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. And for all of you who are ready, you can go back with me. Remember that Jesus went a right way to prepare a place for us. He said, so where I am, there ye may be also. That the resurrection is important to us. Why? Nobody else was found worthy. Nobody was found worthy. Jesus was sinless. And he loved us so his father prepared a body, prepared him a body. And he came down here and he, he gave this life for us. We ought to be so happy tonight. We ought to be, we ought to have what the, as the speaker told us about joy, and it was capitalized. He said that we should emphasize that word with uh, Bishop Matthews came on talking about joy, 
Amen. And we, you talk about joy. If you have the Holy Ghost on the inside of you, you should feel that joy. Now, the closer it gets to Palm Sunday, amen. The closer we think about uh, why Jesus died for us. I'm so glad he got up. Yes. I'm so yes. glad he got up. Thank yes. you, oh, Lord. Geez. Thank you, Lord. He proved to the world that he, who he said he was. Amen. So no one else was found worthy. Another nugget I'm going to remember is don't worry about death because death will yes. die. Amen. Death will die. Amen. Oh, Praise God. the Lord. That's what yeah. he said. <laughs> yeah. Point tonight. He's coming back. Will you be ready? My question is, will Jameson be ready? And whatever your name is tonight, you ought to repeat that now. Whatever your name is, you know, uh, Gil, we got you. I, I'm looking at some uh, Luther Robinson. Okay. Forget your title. Blue, Daniels, all of y'all that may be listening. <laughs> Ask yourself this question now. If you're on the phone, will I be ready? Ask that question. Well, I see your mouth going wet. If you're saying it, just do your hands like this for me. Do your hands like this. They're all those that I can see. And your our next question should be a uh, statement should be, Lord, help me to stay ready. Stay ready. We don't have to no time to fool around and play. And all, let's get our hearts right because the man is coming back. And That's right. That the righteous, hallelujah, shall go back with him when he comes. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. This fast has given us time. Our chief overseer gave us a theme. Bring back the love. Amen. Amen. If we don't have that love that we once had long time ago, we are fasting in vain. We just starving ourselves. Amen. Mm -hmm. But when you pray, when you pray, when you pray, anoint your head with thought. God, forgive me, Lord. And then go to your neighbors or your saints or your brothers and sisters and ask, tell them, I repent. I'm sorry for what. You cannot get to God and jump over your sisters and brothers. Amen. When you know you need to tell them, I'm sorry. When That's you right. know you need to give it somebody a right. job and you didn't do them right, you can't, you can't see God without getting that straight. That's why he died, so we could get it together. Amen, amen. I think my time is up, but I thank That's you. That's all right. I thank you so much, because Jesus is. Jesus is, and you can fill in the blanks. What? Our resurrection. That's what he is. He is our yeah. resurrection. He is our consolator. He is our comforter. Oh, God, aren't you glad oh, you know him tonight? Yeah. Aren't you glad you have him on the inside? Yeah. You to feel his power, his presence right now. Thank you, God. I got, oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank Reverend you. Gale. Thank God. Thank you. And I thank you for the little kids and the, and the, president at the, the person at the end who uh, said it in Spanish, and I should have caught that, but uh, I'll have to go back and get it, okay? They said it in Spanish for us, because we got some Spanish-speaking listeners or viewers here. Yeah, you're right. They heard the word. And one of these times, we might have some, oh, Lord, we might give a whole lesson, oh, well, almost a whole one, in Spanish, amen, or some parts of it. But it's good that others who are hearing us can understand That's what's right. going on. Jesus is the resurrection. Yeah. important for us. He died that we might live. I'm so glad for it. Hey, hey, thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. yeah. All right, Bishop. Hey, good. Thank you. Did I thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. thank you for the word. Thank you, Lord. Why did, why did Jesus die? He died for such a warm as that. Yes, sir. Why, yes, sir. Why did Jesus uh, get up? He got up to jump in me. I thank you, Lord. I thank, thank you, Lord. God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Father God, we're looking to you. Yes, the sir. Architecture yes, sir. of oh, our yes. feet. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Go with us, Lord, as we leave the conference room. Lord, yeah. Lord God, we thank you. We thank you for going on the cross and dying for such a worm as I. We thank you for rising again, Lord. 
You didn't stay in the grave, Lord. Uh, you got up. Uh, you got up out of the grave, Lord. Uh, for all of us, uh, we are grateful. Holy Ghost, stop. Lord, help. I feel, I feel pretty good. I feel nice because the Lord was able to give me salvation. At this time, let us look to the Lord. I have a few announcements. Uh, oh, oh certainly. Okay. Certainly. Right. I wanted to make this announcement. We're going to ask that.